Diamonds galore, Flowers. I am so happy today. You're right. Oh my goodness. Kha'Zix, Kha'Zix has always been over the last to stun them on top of it and guarantee the slow so they can't get away. So even if they answer flashes, they're screwed. Fudge goes in. There it is. Now Blabber's got the flash. Now they got the follow-up, but it'll be a one for one as Inspired is here to take JoJo. It's going to be a bit of a suffering laning phase here for the Rise. And JoJo's building with confidence too. I, I always like really early Dark Seal purchases, especially if you are on a lane that does want to play off of kills. Let's talk about in, uh, Inspired here though, has come into a counter gank scenario. Okay, impact at about 300 HP. He doesn't have much of a way nice. out, but he levels up to six. And that gives EG the ability to outplay instead. Summit's still alive, but he's got 180. To just burn down the dragon, even as Blood is walking back to mid. There we go. Blabber picks it up for the team. Early Hextech Drake for them. A little bit of attack More efficient speed. than Armguard. Armguard actually sucks in comparison. Do you remember back when Armguard had 160% gold efficiency? Oh, never mind. We can't even talk about that because Blabber brings nice. it. But honestly, all four bottom lane guys lose a lot of HP Good timing. Here. Inspired has made his way up into the top lane. He'll look for the damage on Summit. Gwen might be immune, but only the things that aren't nearby. And that bug closed the gap. The it's kill. Not enough damage still forces the flash, though, out of the Cloud9 support. Yeah, he was looking for the double scatter of the weak play. This is really effective early on. Let's see about this 1v1, though. Summit trying to get away here from Impact, fighting back with a little bit of snip snip. Blabber has arrived. Here comes the lightning. Here comes the thunder. Here comes <laughs> Volley Bear. Now, it's very, very difficult because you're going to give up your bounties a lot of the time. Summit's going to die here to Inspired. Yeah, a little bit of greed. Punished nicely from the EG jump. He has trouble team fighting traditionally. We've got a dive coming out from C9. Four man play comes through. Blabber's ulti turns the turret off and makes that way too easy for C9. But again, it's both killed oh over to the bear. It's oh! back to the 1v1. Who's gonna win it? Are, are we even gonna get a winner? Or do they just both walk away, shake hands, say, all right, good fight, see you later? Look for that. No way, Look right? for that E cooldown. Impact hits the Q. Okay, summit at 100 HP. Got enough energy for another yeah, passive summit auto. Summit knows he doesn't win these now, tries to get away. Okay, second five point strike doesn't hit, so summit can walk it off. To pick Akali into the Gwen matchup. Oh, nice dredge line there from Vulcan. Fudge eats some damage. He will stasis that scout of the week to guarantee that he doesn't die. And now Vulcan's the one who's got to be concerned. A little bit more comes through and blabber. <laughs> Blabber <laughs> It never dies, it's fine. You don't give up that bounty. Uh, top side is paying the price again, though. Inspired These is back. These two top laners just never stop the battle, and Inspired reads that as an opportunity for Kha'Zix to get his money. Summit still has the final charge of the ulti ready to fire. He'll shoot that one back into Inspired, but it won't matter. Yep, There's yep, another yep. kill. It's a jungler's world in this third game of the day, Kobe. <laughs> I love it. The Kha'Zix, and I wanted to see the Kha'Zix get early kills. The game changes because you can also poke and play from range. You don't have to fully commit to some of these more scary melee champions. Change the icon. Okay, so we have a spectator yeah. bug. It doesn't change Yeah, it. so it's it's R Evolve <laughs> and now W Evolve here at level 11. But enough about Kha'Zix. We got another 1v1 here in top lane. And it's impact again. Just Dominating soul is very, very scary against an Akali and a Kha'Zix who really want to be able to burst you down. C9 looking for the Drake. Inspired coming around from the side. Odd he opens him. up and he tries to get right back out. Berserker is going to be controlled, but Inspired is going to be killed. It's a one for two so far. EG have lost JoJo now too. Flabber's trying to stand and fight. The volley is so damn strong. Impact tries to deal with them, but the oh! ninja can't beat the bear. He's already there. EG lose four, and C9 take the fight. What a sweep for Cloud9. Blabber with the stopwatch survives, denies the bounty, and Cloud9 collect. Four. Even with the control ward inside the Dragon Pit here, they pull it out. They force Evil Genius's hands, and Inspired comes around for the flank because of the last engage there, and he's got to play safe. He's in the middle trying to get his poke down, does hit Vulcan. Oh, Summit's already at half HP, but Blabber is already godlike. Summit buying some time here with the stasis. His impact looks for his opportunity to come in on the flank. JoJo's trying to get away, and they've already managed to kill off Summit now. Cloud9 trying to retreat. Impact's got the angle, but Berserker's got the kill. Inspired is down, and Danny's ready to follow. Cloud9 turns it right back around. JoJo's trying to run, but Fudge says no, thank you, C9. Ace for of EG in the dirt and only Summit paying the price.
Cloud9 get their Mountain Soul and they will over to make sure they blow up this Nautilus before he's able to get anything off. Then Danny, with all the shurikens, does burn down Summit Baron. Back to live is dead, but can they all get out? Okay, Blabber's the focus here at the start, but they're not gonna get a whole lot on him. Summit's over the wall. Summit teleported in just to be able to be ready for this, but now there's no fight to have, so he'll back away. Yeah. Impact. Is he is he gonna make the engage? It looks like he's Karma looking speed. for it. There comes your slow. There comes your follow-up. The turret's still there. He saves the ulti to make sure he can disable the turret with it. Turns around for one more quick punch to take it out. Nine rotating over more men now to join up with Summit and try to make the dive here. Vulcan and Danny want to get away, but Summit's bringing lots of pressure here with the DPS. Vulcan will be the sacrificial lamb. Impact tried to flank, but he can't close the gap in time. Tier 2 turret mid, tier 2 turret top. Both of them, nothing but a pile of crap on the ground. SC9 <laughs> moves forward. Tier 3 turret, that one's up next. Why stop? One, two, three, count them up, knock them down. C9, man, they are going hard for this push. Yes, they are. There's no reason to stop. Still a minute left on this Baron Buff Flowers. Vulcan's got seven seconds left on the timer, but they might end it before. Oh, Fudge is godlike, and Danny is gone. He will be no longer a part of this defense. And it looks like nobody else from EG is going to have much to say either. JoJo inspired and Vulcan, they try to find anything they can, but the only thing they're going to find is defeat spelled across the screen while Cloud9 collects the victory.